Hi, everybody. Again, my name is Monica. And I was introduced to the book Soul Care a few months ago when it was being held here at this Brooklyn Park campus. And well, you know, quite honestly, I have never heard of Soul Care ever before until I guess I was here. And to be frank, I joined the Soul Care discuss, this, the, uh, discussion group reluctantly because I saw that there was a sign-up sheet in the back, but no one signed up. So I wanted to, <laughs> I felt bad, <laughs> so I signed up. And then I went in with the open heart, open mind, with zero ex expectation. And I can say wholeheartedly that it was the best decision I've ever made. So I'm gonna praise God for that. <laughs> So, Dr. Rob Raymer on page two, even he states that soul care principles changed his life, and I agree, it's changing my life as well. And um, it has kept me grounded, and it has kept me grounded whenever ne negative emotions started to arise in me. And then one very important statement that Rob uh, wrote well, is found on page seven. And it says that what you don't know won't hurt you, right? We all heard of that. What you don't know won't hurt you. But in terms of your soul, what you don't know is already killing you. And so that struck a chord in my heart. But you know, it makes you wonder, what is it though? I don't have a problem. What is it that can be killing me or killing my soul? What is it that is causing you to feel such negative emotions every once in a while, make you feel negative, make you feel anger or afraid? So the main question is, what is it that is gripping your soul so tightly. And then for me, it gripped my soul so tight that I just couldn't let go, I couldn't be free. So through the book, I learned that my soul is a prisoner, a prisoner to the feelings of helplessness and confinement and Basically, it had, it had a, such a strong grip on me for so long that it practically became a part of my family, right? I grew numb to this feeling. So I, I call them the Debbie Downers of my life, the negative Nancys, or some people call them the Karens, right? The Karens of your life. And then unknowingly, I let them control my life choices. Bottom line was, I had zero freedom. And you know what the worst part was? I didn't even know it. I didn't even know that I could have such negativity in my soul. And through this book that I reluctantly joined, the, I allowed the Holy Spirit to pierce through my defenses and it revealed when these negative Nancys, these Debbie Downers, these Karens took, made themselves home in my soul, right? So this happened when I was around 12, maybe 13 years old. During that time, I was confined into a life of school and home. No friends, no relationships, no sports, no after school programs, nothing. No escape. Your job is to come, go to school, come home, stay home. And so these family members caused me to feel so irritated all the time, even up until now. And I harbored these feelings so deeply within me. And then, like a ticking time bomb, sometimes I let this irritation 
explode in anger and I lash out at all those who I love, my family members, my friends, and sometimes even objects in the room. But the Holy Spirit revealed these demonic beings. And then when I learned of their existence and I learned of their secret, right? Their secret was to keep me in this state. I feel like I broke that stronghold that they had over me because I know the truth. When you know the truth, their power is gone. But that's not the end of the story. So I, I want to thank our spiritual growth director, Peng Fu, for helping me in my deliverance. It's because even now, I feel free and I feel happier. And I said that the battle is not over yet because now that you know, now that I know of their existence, it has helped me, it has helped me better defend myself. Whenever I start feeling these negative energy or these feelings, I stop myself and say, hey, this is not me. This, this is the doing of these demonic beings that are trying to get back into my life, into my soul. So everybody, today I want to challenge you all to read this soul care book. It doesn't matter if you are currently going through your own spiritual battle that you know of, or it doesn't matter if you were like me. I fall into the category of, I don't have a problem. There's nothing, it's not gonna affect me. But I still challenge you all to read this book in a community by yourself. Just read the book because you never know. The Holy Spirit may reveal to you more about yourself than you think you know. The worst, the, the worst thing that it could do for you is be the first book you've probably read in a, in a year or maybe 10 years. But all in all, I highly encourage you all to pick up this book and to read it and to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal what it is that is chaining your soul. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.